All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to pwn or jailbreak your iPod or iPhone 2.2.1 with Pwnage Tool. Uh, I'll be demonstrating this with uh, Pwnage Tool for Mac. And all you have to do is download 2.2.1. Uh, just click update and then it'll download. And when, right when it starts installing, just... Uh, cancel it quit all right so all you have to do is open up the DMG I will have a download link to the DMG file and just open up Ponage tool press ok uh, I'm gonna go in expert mode click iPod or iPhone or whatever you have and it's gonna browse for IPSW file and here's 2.2.1 so I'm gonna select it well I'm gonna try to select it wait, wait for it to finish selecting all of these ones okay so here it is so I'm selecting that so now I'm gonna go to general next uh, this is fine click next manage sources that seems all fine oh, I don't see why this thing keeps on staying in there I keep on trying to delete that thing uh, if you don't want the installer, you could uncheck all that. Okay, I want, if you want to change your custom, if you want to leave the logos, uh, alone, you could just uncheck these. If you want custom ones, just check these, and you could even make your own, own, and all that. So I'm just going to click next. Now I'm just going to press build, and I'm going to add this to my desktop. Save it. And I'm going to wait for it to ask me for my password. Takes a couple seconds for it to ask you for your password. Uh, in the meantime, you can check out my website, like I always say, at uh, matt.babich.org. It's also at the right of the bottom of this video. Alright, come on. Alright, so I'm going to wait for this to finish, and I'll unpause the video. Okay, so it finished, and now it asked me to close Pwnage Tool and put my thing into uh, recovery mode. So I'm going to click, I'm going to open up iTunes and click Option, hold the Option, Update, and I think on Mac, it, I mean on Windows, it's Shift Update, and then I'm going to click this. I'm going to open it, and hopefully this works. I am just thought about this right now. So it's going to extract the software, and now it's going to install. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, so it's extracting. Now it's preparing iPod for software update. Okay, so now I see the little uh, iPod logo and all that. Okay, so it did not... Whoa. I did not want that to happen. Alright, so it said some kind of error, like 17 or something. So I'm going to try to put this in DFU mode. Uh, and to do that in 10.5.6, just, just look at my videos. And I have a video on how to do that. So my iPod's being booting, booted. So I'm going to start it up. Okay, so it's in recovery mode now, so all I'm going to have to do is press option, click on restore, and now I press open on this, and now it should work. Uh, if you are if you do not have a jailbroken iPod, uh, when running the installer, just press no on jailbroken iPod, and it'll run through the steps on how to put it in your iPod in DFU mode. And I also have a video on, on me doing that also on my first jailbreak. Uh, and if you aren't 10.5.6, like I said, just check out my other video and just run that installer to be capable to put your iPod in DFU mode. So it's preparing my iPod for restore, so this could take a while. So I am going to pause the video and wait for it to finish, and I'll tell you what came out of it. Okay, my iPod finished uh, restoring, and now it is restarting. 
So I'm going to wait for this restart, and I got my nice little pineapple with a chunk of missing out of it. Very nice. I like the that little boot screen. I don't know. It's just different. I kind of get bored of the little the apple, the little apple sign. I actually want to make my own. I probably will one of these days. I'll just make a little, like, uh, I don't know, something. Get a picture or something. So, it is booting. And as you can see, I got my scroll ball, or my squirrel wheel. And it is, looks like a, a factory defaults. And now I'm going to restore it from my last backup. Um, which was yesterday, because I was trying to back up today, but I didn't feel like it. So I guess I should have, but alright. So now it's restoring from my backup. As you can see, it's that's moving. I don't know how long this should take. This doesn't take that long. But it does take a, quite a while. Hey, look at it. I got a podcast update. If I could look at it. Alright. So, I'm going to unpause. I'm going to pause this video. And then I'm going to unpause it once it's done restoring for my backup. Okay, it finished restoring for my backup. And now it is restarting again. And I see my nice little pineapple logo. And actually, I haven't mentioned this. I do have a IRC chat where you could come and talk to me. Uh, it is on ipocalypse.net. Uh, all you have to do is go head over to my website and go to the live page. And I think I have a little easy link so, uh, so if you have an IRC client that you could just click it and be automatically connected. But all you have to do is choose your nickname. Um, I would suggest choosing a nickname like Mib and all that. That's kind of annoying. Just choose a nickname and just click join. Um, uh, sorry. Click join. And here is a nice little IRC uh, embed chat, and you could just uh, talk to me. Uh, I suggest saying my name first, either Matt or Matt Bebich, uh, just because then it will bounce up and down, and knowing that someone highlighted me, and then I will talk to you. So, uh, well, all right. So my iPod just booted up, and. Uh, I don't have any of my apps or anything. That's kind of annoying. Uh, so I guess I would have to sync it back with the applications. And I'll get all my apps back. Nothing big. But all my city apps. Well, I only had two city apps. So. Alright. So I, it has jailbroken on 2.2.1. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Please come to my IRC chat room and my website. And subscribe to my videos. Thank you for watching.